It was an emotional moment for the family and friends of the late Jamaican footballer Tremaine Tantan Stewart as they gathered just in order to celebrate his life, his work and his legacy. Hi again and welcome. This is Links of Blur 7 TV News Report and we'll be right back with the details to come. Welcome to Link Sabler 7 TV News Report, providing you with the best in local and international news updates. This is a place where you can get the most reliable and informative news information. Link Sabler 7 TV News Report. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for Link Sabler 7 TV News Report. It was an emotional moment for the family and friends of the late Jamaican footballer Tremaine Stewart as they gathered in their numbers in order to celebrate the life and work of this Jamaican footballer who has represented the country at many local and international meet. Stewart collapsed and died during a football match in the Garden Pen community on Sunday, April 18. He was just 32 years old. And we here at Links W7 TV just want to take this opportunity just to express our sincere condolences to the family and friends of the late Jamaican footballer. He was a member of the national football team and would have represented Jamaica at numerous events. The attacking midfielder played for August Town Football Club from 2006 to 2018, Portmore United from 2008 to 2012, and in 2016 again. Stewart also played for Waterhouse from 2014 to 2015, as well as a team in Norway from 2012 to 2014 and another team in Finland in 2015. He was a top representative of the national football team and right now the Jamaican Football Federation and the team is actually in mourning based on this loss of one of our greatest footballers to date, Walk good Tremaine Stewart. And a number of people have took to social media when the news broke of his passing and a number of them have sent condolences to his family and his friends. But this news came as a shock to many as this was not expected as he was in the middle of a game when he collapsed in his community. We'll continue to provide you with any more information to come on this but this is the latest that we have in relation to this story and we here at Links Double 7 TV once more just want to send our sincere and heartfelt condolences to the family and friends. This is where we leave this report for now. Thanks for watching. This has been Links Double 7 TV News Report. Have a blessed and productive day from the Links TV family.